March 2007. Sitting in the back of a black police car, Cesare Battisti has just been arrested in Rio de Janeiro. He'll spend the next four years in jail and is set free in 2011 after left-wing President Luis Ignacio da Silva refused to extradite him to Italy and granted him the status of political refugee. The legal troubles didn't end there for the 64-year-old former communist militant. In March 2015, Battisti was arrested again before being freed. And last month, the Brazilian Supreme Court ordered his arrest and extradition, arguing his crimes were not political. A life on the run that began in the late 70s. Batisti was then a member of the Armed Proletarians for Communism, a revolutionary group that called for armed uprising. He's accused of murdering four people, including a prison guard and policemen. The militant denies the charges, saying he never shot anyone. Sentenced to 12 years of prison by an Italian judge in 1981, he first fled to France, where President François Mitterrand promised asylum for political refugees who renounced violence. Batisti was later sentenced in absentia to life in prison. He spent the following 15 years between France and Mexico, publishing several crime novels and leading a relatively calm life as a building superintendent in Paris. But in 2004, a new extradition demand was approved by a Paris court, and the militant ran again, this time to Brazil. The country's new far-right president, Jair Bolsonaro, had vowed he would immediately extradite Batisti upon taking office.